Sklork is a uh, acronym meaning Santa Clara Laptop Orchestra uh, and it is basically a group of students who get together and use laptops to create a cluster of sounds that is something more than the sum of its parts. The laptop is the primary uh, instrument. Every student gets a laptop and then we can choose to plug in different peripherals to that. You can get um, like a drum pad or uh, sync it up with an iPad or something like that. We have a bunch of different chords <laughs> around the stage. There's an audio interface and then we each have our own speaker. We have a lot of other devices that we plug in. and It's just all written in a really simple language called uh, Super Collider. Very complex code that we write, so I think the code is probably the main instrument really in Laptop Orchestra, more than the laptops. We get to combine musical ideas with coding and just a bunch of different sounds that maybe are more foreign to other people, but is really just combining technology and music. But Laptop Orchestra is just so different than I think what like society thinks of an electronic musician being. You uh, picture uh, the DJ alone in their bedroom making music or whatever, and that's like not what we do at all. Getting to play and make music with people is definitely a great opportunity. It has its own challenges, like, you know, like coming to compromises and working with other people is actually a lot more challenging than I thought it would be. But at the same time, it's just something that's all the more rewarding. When you put a group of people together, they start listening to one another. And just as a traditional uh, ensemble or orchestra learns to listen to one another, that's how the laptop orchestra jails over 10 weeks. It's a lot more collaborative than I originally imagined, and it's, it's definitely been interesting working with other people and kind of being able to see their ideas and, and hear what they've been able to create and kind of build off each other's ideas. As a group, you come collectively together and build something which is your own that you can claim. Laptop Orchestra starts from scratch. Generally, uh, Bruno will bring in two or three pieces, but the rest of the pieces that we perform are student compositions. We had a game track console that we used, which is originally for a golfing game, and we were able to kind of rewire it so that it would work for our musical purposes. So whenever we would move the controls, it would correspond to certain noises and certain parameters of music. And then we also used contact microphones, and so we were able to just connect them to any object that made any noise and put different effects on that and kind of got to make music from ordinary objects. Like maybe knives or rolling pins, something you find in the kitchen. We had at one point someone playing a uh, like a thunder sheet, I think they're called, basically just a big sheet of steel. Maybe the one that had the most unexpected effect was definitely coins in a glass jar. I got like a mason jar of coins and so I was trying to reproduce uh, footsteps. And then all of a sudden everyone was like, what? And it's like Bruno started typing in the chat like, do that again! Like, don't let it go! There are odd toys that we do use in, in Laptop Orchestra. A toy music box, salad bowl, hammers. Really, what, whatever is around, a lot of students will bring things that they find around campus. That opens up a lot of possibilities. I've never been introduced to his art style in any sense before, and I was just blown away. <laughs> Performing.
performing with him and watching him perform was also something just incredible. We were all in a space where every single one of us was invested. We were all listening really carefully to each other. Like, the chat was blowing up, and we also had just this master of his art working with us. And also surrounded by really beautiful art as well. It was, it was a night that I'm going to remember. Everyone brings something different to the table. Like, I had no coding experience. Some people are computer engineering majors and have less musical experience. I don't know. There's just so many different possibilities that could be explored and have yet to be, and I look forward to seeing what happens. Anyone can join and anyone can be a part of it and make something really cool.